My child was sent home from school because they had a symptom of COVID-19. I'm going to take my child to get tested. However, I was told that the rest of the people in my household do not have to stay home and isolate while we wait for results. Can you explain that? Well, the good news is, uh, in our community, we have a very low risk of COVID-19. Uh, we've had no detected cases in school, so it's a very low risk situation. We actually know that there, the viruses that are, are circulating in our community at present are rhinovirus, adenovirus, enterovirus, which are mimickers of COVID. So they'll give a fever, a cough, a runny nose, but the, those are the actual viruses that are circulating. And because the risk is low, it's important to get your child tested if they have symptoms of COVID-19. The family members can still go about going back to school, they're going back to work, unless they have symptoms as well. If they develop respiratory symptoms, they must be off work and they should get tested. So I hope that's clear. Symptoms get tested, no symptoms at present in our community, don't get tested, and it's okay to go back to school or go back to your work environment. Mainly because our community's done so well at present with a very low community risk of COVID-19. Now, if your child does test positive for COVID-19, which is unlikely in our environment today, we would then instruct family members or close personal contacts of that child to stay home, monitor symptoms, and we would give instructions on when or if you should get tested. Uh, it would be a 14-day observation period because it can take up to 14 days for the virus to grow in someone else and to develop symptoms. If you're past the 14 days and don't have any symptoms, you didn't pick up COVID, from that close personal contact with that child. We will be following up with all of these cases. We will give instructions to all family members, and it's only at that point that you have to stay home and follow the instructions of the public health.